guess poor Pantina is gonna join me for this video. Hi, hey, I'm Morgan, and today I'm gonna be talking about some books that I am thankful for. So, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. It's, it's tomorrow. So I figured that I would just sit down and do like a chill, kind of laid back video all about the books that I am thankful for. I'm gonna talk about just like maybe five books, maybe less, I'm not really sure. These are in no particular order because rating books from my most to my least liked is like, you know, saying that I like Porpentina more than Chandra because it's just untrue. I love all of my books equally. The first book that I'm going to talk about is actually a poetry collection and that is Our Number of Days by Neil Hilborn. My copy is signed and personalized to me because I met Neil, it's fine. Neil Hilborn is a slam poet and a spoken word artist and he's most well known for his slam poem OCD. It went super viral. <laughs> Don't eat those. Don't know. Let's not eat the lights. Okay. Neil's OCD poem was the first piece of slam poetry that I watched and it was the first time that I saw something and it made me think like, wow, I really want to do that. And I picked up this book not too long after it was released and so many of the pieces in here resonate with me. They talk about mental illness and on love and on lost love. And it's so beautiful and I love it so much and I actually got to see Neil perform last year here in Ohio and I got to meet him and talk to him about how he inspired me to write and perform my poetry and it was a really phenomenal experience for me and I would just, I just love this book so much and it's short but it means a lot to me. <laughs> Since we're talking about poetry collections, poetry means a lot to me in general and I'm very thankful for the poems that I've read but I'm going to talk about another poetry collection because it's hard to talk about poetry that I love without mentioning this book and that is Forgive Me My Salt by Brenna Tui. This talks a lot about mental illness and living through abusive relationships as well as sexual assault and it is a very powerful book and it is something that every poem in this resonates with me in so many different ways and on so many different levels. It has definitely helped with claiming anxiety and not being ashamed to talk about mental illness and not being afraid to talk about abuse and about assault. I love poetry so much and I am so very thankful for this collection and seeing Brenna Tui perform her work live would be one of the greatest things to ever happen to me because I just I would love to see her perform some of these pieces live. The next book I'm going to talk about is a new book that has come to my life but ever since I've read it I can't stop thinking about it and I'm sure you all know what book I'm talking about. That is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I'm very thankful for the representation of OCD in this book. Reading books with main characters that have OCD is a very difficult thing for me as I have OCD and I get so much anxiety when new books are released that have some form of OCD representation just because I don't want to see it poorly represented or stigmatized or romanticized in any way. I have a whole video up on my channel where it, it was meant to be a review but it just turned into like this huge gush session where I just couldn't stop talking about how much this book means to me and honestly I, I can't stop thinking about it and I can't stop recommending it to people, especially people that are coming to terms with the fact that they have OCD or they have family members that have OCD. I just think it's it's phenomenal and it's so important and it means the absolute world to me. <laughs> and kind of in that same breath, I'm going to mention Looking for Alaska by John Green. This is John Green's first book and I read this when I was 15 years old. At that point, I was like kind of reading off and on. I would just like read like required stuff for school and I kind of lost my love of reading for a long time and then I picked up this book and this book like made me want to read again and it got me into reading YA and being more involved with it and 
This book is kind of what got me into watching booktube videos because I looked up like looking for Alaska reviews or like looking for Alaska and I found The Readables which was the first booktube channel I had ever seen and she did like a haul of hauling all of John Green's books and she like reviewed all of them and like read all of them in a month and I saw that and I was like holy shit people make YouTube videos about books? And I was jazzed, like I could not believe that that was like a thing. Like, I credit a lot of the reason why I started reading again and why I started my booktube channel to Looking for Alaska. Because if I hadn't become so infatuated with this book, I wouldn't have wanted to read more YA and I wouldn't have gone on the internet to try to find more people that enjoyed this book as much as I did. And that's just something that means the entire world to me. Even though this isn't like, the best written book of all time, and even though it's not one that I haven't read for a while, I'm still very thankful that it came into my life when it did. I don't have any of my copies of this book here with me yet, so I'm just gonna mention it. I just wanna talk about the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling because I would not be a reader if it wasn't for Harry Potter. I, I, don't, I don't think that I would be as invested in the characters that I am invested in. I don't think I would be as involved in fandom as I would be if I hadn't read Harry Potter. I have an entire sleeve of Harry Potter tattoos. Harry Potter has changed my life for the absolute better. I, I could go on for 84 years about how much I love Harry Potter and it still wouldn't be able to scratch the surface of what this series means to me. Harry Potter is definitely a series that means the absolute like universe to me. I truly believe that I would not be the person that I am today if it weren't for the Harry Potter series. Even though so many things have been happening in the fandom and so many like JK Rowling keeps like pigeonholing what's canon and what's not canon, I it doesn't take away how my feelings for the series and how much I love it. And oh, I'm about to be crying in the club right now. I love Harry Potter, okay, fuck with me. But you guys, there you have it. Those are some of the books that I am the most thankful for. Definitely let me know what books you are most thankful for in the comments. And thank you all so much for 300 subscribers. It means the absolute world to me. Numbers like are the least important thing to me, but knowing that there are people that care about what I have to say and that want to engage with me in these videos means so much to me and I just I am just full of love and gratitude for every single one of you and I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season and if you're American I hope you eat a ton of food during Thanksgiving I hope you have a great time and read some great books but yeah um my name is I tell you to like like and subscribe right now because I just wanted this to be like a chill cool thing but definitely start a discussion with me in the comments I want to hear what books you're all thankful for and yeah I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and happy reading okay bye